Hello, y'all. It's Sacred Cabo and me. Y'all back with more Yakuza Like a Dragon. We are going to continue right where we left off on that last episode. Uh, we were looking for the guy that was robbing the homeless. And he, uh, you know, he just so happened to walk by as we were starting to look for him. So let's get this going. <laughs> Quack. Quack. Indeed. And we also, we got our, we, we finally got our fourth party member. Uh, we're in Chinatown, even though, you know, we kind of let it slip. They were looking for somebody. So, Louis Mong Man, the Louis Mong Man. We're going to continue here. I think I actually tried to even go in here, but we couldn't at the time. Got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir, did anyone refer you to us? Yeah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Ah, it's a host club, huh? Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter, so That's I'm afraid bit. you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? Does it look like they're with the police? That? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? Man, neither of them really look like cops. What, like hiring illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? <laughs> uh, huh? I mean, she's cute enough. Let me guess. Help wanted. I, I, yeah. We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. I love sure how... going in alone like this? <laughs> it's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right. She kind of reminds me of Makoto. Oh, yeah. I will. From P5. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really going to work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. I think it might be the hair. Well, Kazuko's got a point. Let's just wait for her to get in touch. Hey. We might end up having to fight Zhang. So let's be ready for that. Good point. Our weapons are all just things we picked up off the street. I don't like our odds here. <clears throat> Do you got anything better? We were broke and unemployed until a few days ago. Get new new shit for everyone if I if it didn't cost so damn much money. Uh, actually, I remember hearing about a factory in the red light district with an engineer who's got an eye for that. If we asked him, 
Maybe he'd make us some better stuff. Okay. And it's probably cheaper than just buying new stuff. Hey. Cool. Let's check out this factory while we're wait while we wait for Psycho then. Psycho though. <sighs> I guess I'll just go this way. The main problem is money. We need money. And right now, we don't have a lot of it. Hey, buddies. No, we're still in chapter. Yeah, yeah, we is chapter five. We are in chapter five. I thought it was four. Yeah, no, we're still we're on chapter four. Uh, five. Damn it! I just said it too. Watch this. Get toasty. Let's go. But yeah, we're in chapter five. Uh, we all we have is the baby. <laughs> the only new one we got was the baby. Freaking idle, an idle fan, a re re restless otaku. Oh god, restless otaku. Okay. <laughs> no, he's not a rapper. Here, I think I can. I think I can pull it up here real quick. Hold on, let me. Let me get out of the street. There you go. <laughs> Patriarch Gondawara. <laughs> That's all I have right now. <clears throat> Okay. I took them all out. Okay. I took them all out one swing. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. That works for me.
Oh, hey guys. When the odds are are greater, when when the number is low, less than than what we have, it's so much easier. Oh, here he is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, what we got? This is that workshop Adachi-san was Anybody talking about. Here? Hey, excuse me. Hello. You need something? She's cute. She's cute. Uh, I heard you could fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, no. Not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes! Oh, wow, 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 wow! Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah. Fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Great. I'll get to work right away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Okay. <gasps> Ah, just touch. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> just a shinies. This is a shiny on the uh, a shiny spot yeah. on the table. Okay. That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Good. Yo, that thing looks like it's brand new. <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it. This place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad, who opened this place, was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. Yeah. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. But look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can. And maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? 
I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, alright? <laughs> You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. Alright, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else. I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rachan. Yay! You can craft and enhance your weapons and gear at the Romance Workshop. Scavenging the streets for materials and investing in the workshop's an amenities will allow you to craft a wider variety of gear. Be sure to take full advantage of the workshop and improve your arsenal. I want to see how good this bat is now. Let me see. I want to find out. <clears throat> I aced the interview. I'm about to start serving customers, so you guys can swing by when you're for it. When you're ready, I'll make sure you get in if you name drop me. Got it. Okay. Hey. <laughs> All right, what we got? Ah, oh, but it's still not as good as the freaking massage wand. Ah, uh, it's a little disappointing. Uh, well, can I upgrade a little bit more? Alright, I can upgrade it a little bit more. It's still not going to be as good as what I already have. Looking good. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no game. Uh, it works, right? I mean, it's definitely better. I need more dirty iron, some more hide, and attack zero. Where the hell that actually is. But when I get it up to plus three, it'll be better than what I currently have. All right, all right. Uh, I would, yes, I would, because right now, I have zero. I have zero, attack zero. Go to the pharmacy? Oh, I have to buy it all. Okay. Okay. We need do we need money. We just need freaking money. I can't go this way, can I? No. Yeah. We just need money. Come here, buddy. Come here, guy. Oh, uh. 
Oh, come on! I just beat them up! Alright, well. Yeah, and we need to get food. We're gonna get food. Come here, buddies. Let's get this over with. Come on! Yeah! I got this! Take your best! I'm up. You're in it now. Ah, damn it. Well, they're freaking weak. <laughs> you messed up there. Ran over, fool. Ah, there we go. Come on. Part-time hero, esteem, esteem your valid efforts. You are able to report in on the request you've accepted. We highly recommend that you stop by a nearby location to report in. Remember, a journey of a thousand kilometers begins with a single step. Warm regards, part-time hero, Inc. Irma? Oh, hey, there's the pharmacy. How expensive is it? How stupid expensive is it? So itchy. Five hundred per bottle. Ouch. Yeah. The main thing is, I need money. <laughs> It's over here. Is there any, uh, 
really high paying jobs I could get. Is there, is there any job that pays like 10,000 yen, 100,000 yen, something like that? Maybe do some gambling. No, if I do gambling, I'm gonna lose it all. Yeah, I just gotta figure out how to how to register them. The hell? Uh, I slept like a baby. Hmm? A nonsense moving, comforting low hum. Kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. Place is perfect when you need a nap. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie though. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> a vintage film theater. Guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Ah, this is a classic, too. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. Oh, well... Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. <clears throat> old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. Oh, it's All right. just... I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment. Never fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get you. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though, anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Really? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Okay. A free movie ain't bad. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Well, I'm already here, so I might as well. Why not? Excellent. Right this way, please. Yeah, I need to find a convenience that is the... Is the problem. <laughs> I don't know where there is one. Today's showing is a monumental piece. Robo Cook. Half culinary drama, half gunslinging action masterpiece. <laughs> I can Robo watch this over and over again and Robo never get Cook. tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of yeah. course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. I'm thinking this guy built this place just so he can sit around watching his favorite movies all day. Hey! If it pays the bills, then, uh... Well, it's about to start. Why not? No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Oh, come yeah, on. I'm sure. <clears throat> oh, shit. This place is weirdly comfy. Damn, now I'm sleepy as hell. That guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep. 
<laughs> he fell asleep. Uh. No. Watashi ni wa kyoku wa nai. Nan no tame ni umare ta no ka. Kazoku mo, tomo mo, ai suru mono mo. Robo cook. Daga, kore dake wa hakki to wakaru. Watashi wa yori no tame ni ikiru no da. I live to cook. Robo cook. Ah, oh, come on, please tell me I got it. I got it. Okay. A badass cyborg who loves to cook. All right, I'll bite. Hopefully, I can stay awake. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. The frick? Oh, uh, okay. What? What am I supposed to do? Damn it! I wish. I wish I got a screenshot of that. What the frick was that? <clears throat> Test your reflexes. My quickly pressing the display inputs to stop those pesky rem rams from putting Kasuga to sleep. If you win, you win if Kasuga doesn't fall asleep by the end of the movie, which will surely make him a better man. Uh, defeat normal rem rams by pressing the display inputs. Rem rams with a rapid can be defeated by pressing the input five times. Alarm. Alarm cocks will heal you, but if you hit them, they'll seek vengeance. If you press the wrong inputs when the rem rams are present, you take damage. <sighs> alarm. Alarm cocks. Uh, movies hit a point where they get especially boring giving you giving your foes rush mode golden rem rams will appear who cause extra sleepiness deal with them quickly until the movie ends Costco's energy the movie's name and the current score okay <laughs> All right, well, let's let's see this. <clears throat> All right, swap up, swap down, swap left, swap right. Oh, okay, and then you can also okay, and then you can also use then you can also use the buttons. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is freaking weird. I almost nodded off there. Fall asleep for once. <laughs> uh, why Yakuza? Why make it weird? Because they can. <laughs> okay. Exciting scene. But him using the same technique over and over is going to put me to sleep. Shit, movies make me so sleepy.
This is so weird. Oh no, I hit him. No, I hit him by mistake. That was awesome. Oh, my lord. I think I, oh, it's I think just getting I good. Pretty, I think I did pretty good. Yes. Yes, we are. My mother's cooking. I remember the secret ingredient is salt. <sighs> he gets stronger by remembering his family. That's actually kind of touching. That was awesome. <laughs> Whew. At least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. I probably would have gone my whole life without He's watching asleep. one of these. If He's asleep, this isn't place. he? This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Oh, sure. Respect the classics. You're asking why the Yakuza series is odd and goofy, and even though it's super serious on the main story, the side quests are off the wall? Hmm. I don't know. Can't help you there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I got this. Don't get cocky. Oh. Have fun with this. <laughs> Alive. Cool. You're weak. <laughs> Come on now. Well, so uh. Yeah. Come up. I got this. Wanna fight? I see you. Shot. Okay. Don't get cocky. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Sucks to be you. That was rough. Look at me go. So I didn't get, I didn't recover from that free movie. That kind of sucks. Yeah, I can, there's some food over here. No. No, it's, wait, no, it's not it. No dashi move. Oh, he learned a new, oh, neat. Okay. Who's hungry? Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Majesty. Uh, much better. Excuse me, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'll message you later. You might not do anything, but I don't want to start another side mission. Little side story again. All right, let's do this. Ni hao, welcome. No. Ni hao, welcome. <laughs> Ni hao, welcome. Nice. Whoa, <laughs> pretty nice way to be greeted. Yeah, all right, all right. Unbelievable. Every single girl is sexy as hell. No, we had, we, I, I had no idea no. a place like this was on restaurant road. Haven't been able to do karate yet. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Hi. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh. The girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. Requested her? VIP she's freaking room. brand new! Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. Pretty gross. These friends. Are they from the Liomong? Yeah. They're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah. You seen him? He's the absolute worst. None of us want to deal with him. So they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Saigo's with them right now? Get it out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sachan! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> you know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Huh. Come for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liumong. Are you really this stupid? Uh... No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liumong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot. I know you're saying idiot. that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Uh, so you wanna go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? <laughs> if you don't start talking, He's an armpit I'll tell liquor. the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Uh, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor helpless bums. 
It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Leomar. Kill them where they stand. Throw their bodies into the bay so the fish can eat them. Yes, yes sir! You're going down. Okay. You're gonna get stuck. Go. Watch, Watch this. this. Take your best shot. Here we go. You're weak. Oh to yeah. Do. You're in it now. Try this on your side. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's go. You're going down. You're weak. I got this. Breaking top. Unleash a spinning throw that wrecks a single enemy and deals collateral damage to all other. Uh, I gotta see it. I gotta see it. That was pretty good. Ready? Right. And just because this guy was an idiot. just yet like i said i have some questions for you fuck you you think i'd tell you anything so you want me to rat you out to your leader then wait if i tell you will you promise not to tell them have some faith in me will you i'm not an asshole <laughs> could have fooled me there's no reason for me to believe you won't rat oh my god so now you're not telling me fine it's ratting time fucker hey bring the manager in here I want to tell him how the honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. What the hell do you want to know? <laughs> just, and then we just you go sit down. Soap land? Why would Mabuchi san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu planned turf. There must yeah. be some mistake. Yeah, no? it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Or that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah. I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But... But... You're Liu Mang. The Yokohama Liu Mang was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and zhe zhe. Hello and thank you. But you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart. 
so he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. Yeah. Wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might <laughs> well. know something about your own boss is all. <sighs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Guess you can scram, Zhang. So look. Bye. I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But I'm not sorry. He needed he deserved it. You're the one who did liquor. wrong anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So say you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san. But I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah. It does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles. So even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. But I used to work there part-time and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey guys, what if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Zheng said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuman guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> You mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? <sighs> I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. 
Thanks for not being a prick. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, while I'm at man. it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table. Let's say get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> Baby man with a resub for 23 months. Hell yeah. Mansk just resubscribed for 23 months to Kobe right, Keep Rollin. Let's go home. Keep Rollin. Keep Rollin. Keep Rollin. Keep Rollin. Doesn't look like they're going to let us do that. Guess we stood out too much. Yo. <sighs> we gotta slip through some we gotta slip through them somehow. If we can make it to Romance Street, then I have to be more careful about starting trouble. Got it. Got it. Let's go. How you doing, B-Man? Been a long day. Time to relax. Yeah. I feel ya. Believe me, I feel ya. It's been a long week for me. I have no idea. I have no idea. 125 streak. Good Lord. Even if you're lurking, you're always here. Hey, man, lurking is always and oh, is always freaking welcome. All right, where the hell am I? I don't want to go down this way. Uh, wait, where's that convenience store? That it? Yeah, there it is. I oh, need to go this way. <sighs> you know, it's a lot harder to 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 lurk when I'm streaming. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't think I have anybody with cr that that kind of crazy amount of, of amount of streaks. I mean, the most I think I ever get is like a couple, two or three weeks, and then something happens, and maybe I miss a stream because I'm streaming.
Uh, do I talk to you? You're Kaskasan, aren't you? Hirosan informed me about you. Anytime you need to report any delivery or take down quests you've finished for part time hero, come up and talk to me. Anyway, hope you kick some butt out there. Do you have any part time hero work you want to report back? Hey, I got me a straw hat. We need heroes like you and Yok. Uh, we need heroes like you to make Yokohama an even better city. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, do I have a uh... complete part-time hero quests? Completing part-time hero quests will net you rewards such as money and items. Quests will automatically be received depending on the state of your progress. These can be checked under part-time hero quests in the pause menu. Okay, this is all the stuff I already, the stuff that we already, uh, did. Oh. Oh, I have 10 grand in my, in my savings. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to deposit your money via an ATM at a convenience store. Anything stored away will be safe and sound upon, even upon being eliminated in metal. As the saying goes, he who will not economize will have to agonize. Okay. That's, kind of, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> It's what I was thinking. Take, dude, we can get two. I gotta find. I wonder if I can do this one like right now. Probably not, but I could get two, two million yen. Taking 10 pictures. I already know there's... Probably do that. I, that's the main thing right now. I need... I need to know where they are. I know where there's one at least. Also, if I remember correctly... This area has some really high level thugs. Why do you look like a, a freaking Unabomber? Freaking looks like a freaking Unabomber. And we have the healing right over there. Is the good little Hell spot yeah. farm, I think. Yes. 
then we can run right over here get healed up the question is can I do this right can I do that right now there isn't any like hidden statues or anything Because like I said, I know where there's one right now. Wait, what was that? Sorry, sorry. Ugh, I hate when the garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Ah, uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. He does. What can I say? We're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flock. Yay! I mean, here's one right now. Oh, I should take a photo, though. Is there like a selfie button? This isn't a beach, this is a bathtub. No body of water is safe without a lifeguard? That's true, that includes bathtub. How do I? Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. I just figured out how to do the selfie camera. Right. You mother truckers. What is this new thing? I just figured out what I was doing. <laughs> I just figured it out, you little trucker. Oh, hey. <laughs> there we <he> go. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> let me have my. Why? Why can't y'all let me have my fun? Trying to take cute freaking pictures, you jackasses. <sighs> All right. Oh, look at that. I think they all try to get into the photo. Wait, where's... Nice. 
Wait, where'd she go? There she is. What's she doing? <laughs> okay. That's kind of, I don't know, man. It's kind of funny. There you go. There you go. No, no. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Oh, hey! Hansen! Hansen. Yeah, Shinri. Gambare you? Damn it. Time for a can quest. That's money. Time to get paid. Time to get paid. That's money. Ah, oh, you mother trucker. in a second. Hey, now there. That's the mark. Seems like a pretty good haul. I lost, I lost a bunch of cans, though. Strip but I'll take it. Already. Uh, I like, I like the strange Pac-Man game. I like the strange Pac-Man game. You're pretty good. Come again. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to take a short little break here. I got to take a short little break. And when we come back, I want to do I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the can quest or the, the Pac-Man cans one more time. But for now, uh, just give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back while I'm away. Listen to or enjoy the music. Go ahead and turn up the volume a bit. So give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Oh, okay. Also, I got me a new drink. <laughs> I guess you were waiting. You were waiting, weren't you? <laughs> uh, wait a whole three minutes. Yep. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're back. We are back. I am back. Let's go ahead. Also grab me a new drink. So I'm ready. I do want to try the uh, collecting cans one more time. Just get, I find it fun. Oh, hey, I can do the medium one now. All right, let's try. 
500 cans. Time for a can quest. That's money. Took it a minute. That's money. Shut up, fly. Time to get paid. Time to get paid. <laughs> I missed him. Yeah, I know. I was trying to get to 500. I almost had 500, and I was getting a little. I got greedy. And I got greedy. I was so close to 500, I got greedy. That's money! Is behind me. Gotta fly. That's money. That's money. 
Oh, I didn't miss him. Go, 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 go faster! Time to get paid. All right, here we go. I'll take that. I got a very good haul. That's the mark. Can, can curr. What a haul! Nice. Bad pun, but nice. What does that give me? Man of pans. <laughs> Looks like you're getting the hang of this, newbie. You think so? Of course. We still got a long way to go. Anyway, take this to celebrate a level enough. Oh, hey. Those are echo points. You sure? Thanks. Think of it as a sort of a... Login bonus. A little way to say, keep doing your best. Login bonus? What's that? This game I played back when I had a place of my own had them. Basically, they're points you get keeping up with things. I don't really get it, but I guess I'll just have to collect a bunch of cans. Yeah, that's right. Just keep doing your best. Nice. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. I gotta play the can game a little bit. Oh no. no. the enemy's heartstrings with pleading eyes and enduring words are successful that enemy will give up an item let's see what happens nope you're gonna be in a world of hurt watch this I got this the enemy is defeated so stupid oh so stupid but I love it. Right, here we go. Here's a big. Here's a big group. This will give us some experience points. Six great, only six eighty six thousand uh, six hundred and eighty yen. God damn it. What the frick? My brain. Right, here's the dude. Here's the dude that gave us two thousand. Right. 
What? Get away. What? Right. I come here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't get cocky. Okay. Huh? Let's go. Watch this. You wanna go? Oh, that creeps. You wanna fight? I'm not backing down. Check this out. Get serious. What the hell? What is up with this dude? Let's go. You wanna fight? Baby, who grand? I feel the stats going up. <laughs> nice. Where am I? Okay, I'm right there. There was gonna be another Kappa statue. There's ten of the damn things, though. I, w I, I probably would need to bring up the map. Two million is a lot. Two million is a lot. I'm probably not even gonna be able to spend it all right now. I'm kind of thinking there might be one around here. Come on. Yeah. Uh, dudes, y'all are pretty weak. No, no hidden bat, no hidden passages in the bathroom. Where do you think you're going? Who the frick are you? Huh? You want me to let you in? Like a dog scratching and begging his master to let him in the house before he freezes to death? I suggest you learn what's good for you and get lost. 
What's up here? I was just curious. <clears throat> uh, I get the feeling something shady is going on back there. Kind of gives me the creeps. If only I was more assertive. I probably could have asked. That guy freaks me out, though. You need to be level four in confidence in order to get past. All right. Seriously. Serious? Okay, well, whatever. Ooh. There's a bug. Nice. Oh, I get all warm and fuzzy whenever I see a swing. Oh, I really liked them as a little girl. My dad used to take my sister and me to the park all the time. Oh, yeah? Well, if I ever start a family, I'd want us all to play together on weekends, too. I'm having a hard time seeing Adachi as a dad. Oh, come on, I'd be a good dad, right? In fact, I'd be a regular old sugar daddy. That doesn't no. mean what you think it means. Don't ever say that again. Ever. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, you get the idea. Started so sweet and ended in salt. Hey, I'm in good shape. <laughs> Hey guys. Let's do it. Cool. I'm not backing down. Come on now. Right. I got this. Okay. Let's go. You're gonna be in a world of here we go. Weak. Get this out. What do I do? Yeah. 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 Let's head back and let's heal, and then we'll go to the next story mission. I don't care. Just run past him. We'll start the fight anyway. Not a loser. I got this. Don't get cocky. Have fun with this. Hero's Vigor. Make a valiant effort to revive a fallen ally. Neat. All right. All right. You're going to be in a world. Check this out. Right. Try this on your side. Feel this one. I'm up. You're going to get stomped. Get Here we serious. go. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Next time. I just noticed she's doing this all in heels, by the way. <laughs> of course she's doing this all in heels. Oops, sorry. Uh. 
<laughs> Better. Better. Hmm? Is there anything up here? No. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no. That bento got thrown out with half the food left in it. What a waste. Yeah, I wouldn't eat that. The leftovers like those are dangerous. The bacteria multiply faster. Oh, I won't. I'm guessing you've made that mistake before. <laughs> no way. I got more pride than that. I don't do bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? So what if someone tossed out an unopened bento? Yeah, well, that would be... Huh? 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 That'd be sad. All right, I, I get it. Oh, I gotta level up. I gotta level up. I gotta take, I gotta go to the bar. I gotta level up. They're maxed out. Should I do that now? I wonder if I should do that now. Yeah, their friendship, their friendship meter is capped. I need to go to the bar. Here we go. I'm not backing down. Come on. I'm trying to think if I should do it now or not. Like I said before, this is my merchandise. None of it is trash. Hmm? Huh? But it's spilling out from the property. Surely you can't mean... Huh? I take it you've never heard of a little thing called ro roadside business? Lots of places have flags and signs outside. You've got a problem with those, hmm? I just wish the people from the welfare office would treat me like they do everyone else. Oh. Hey, wait. We're still not done talking. Uh. So, that's the owner of the pawn shop. Not too big on picking up, is he? Oh, what am I going to do? Hey. So, he owns that dump, huh? Huh? Oh, yes. Excuse me, but who are you? I'm Kaska, and I'm kind of new in town. Sounds like the neighbors are pretty up in arms about this place. Kaska, ah, uh, so you're Kaska-san. You, you've heard of me? Hey. Indeed. I've heard rumors about you from many of the cities in, uh, cities homeless. Talk of a huge new guy on the scene named Kaska, with even bigger hair. I'm actually with welfare services, so I have a lot of connections with the homeless. <laughs> oh, wow, I never thought I'd get to meet you. <sighs> I guess I'm making a name for myself here. Too bad it's for all the wrong reasons. I'm Kondo. I work the public division of welfare. Division of welfare? Huh? Sounds like you have a lot of work on your hands. Well, that's the nature of the job. Still... This place has been a real thorn in my side. He's saying it's a pawn shop, right? He's saying it's a pawn shop, right? Correct. The owner, Gomi-san, keeps saying that the trash is all his merchandise, which of course prevents us from removing it. That said, it was indeed a pawn shop at one time. 
But after his wife passed away, he became somewhat of a recluse. And the shop turned into this trash heap you see today. Wow. Huh. I don't know if it's because I'm younger than him or what, but he refuses to listen to a word I say. Oh. So now I'm caught between an angry hoarder and an angrier neighborhood. Huh. Man, you know I'm starting to feel bad. Otto? Say, maybe you can try to reach out to him, Kasuga-san. Hmm? Me? Yes. I'm sure by now Gomi-san's had enough of me or the neighborhood folks pestering him. I'm thinking maybe if a new... More intimidating face gives him, gives it to him straight. He'll finally, finally get the picture. You sure about that? At this point, I think of throwing him a curveball is my best bet. I'll even reward you for it. So could you please help for the sake of the city? <sighs> hmm. Sure thing. Okay, I'll help. Seeing as you've got your hands full. Arigatou gozaimasu. Oh. Oh, thank you. I'll get Gomi-san right away. Really? <laughs> Never would have guessed the doorbell's be doorbell to be there. What is it now? Huh? Huh? Who are you? You look like a Yakuza. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. It's even the welfare office is in their pocket, is it? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. What you're getting at. This is Kasuga-san. He just recently moved in. He wanted to express his feelings about the state of your shop. Hm. I'll bet. Come on. That guy's a Yakuza through and through. I'm no Yakuza. I'm just another citizen like you. Sup? So tell me. You ever thinking of... Think about cleaning all this crap up? Huh? It's not crap. It's my. This is a pawn shop, and this is a all res respectable merchandise. I'm not getting rid of it. Yo, doesn't look like he's too big on changing his tune. Mm. Uh, he sure is stubborn. There's got to be something that'll win this guy over. How much you? Well, he's going with the merchandise angle, then maybe... Sup? Hey, everything here is for sale, right? That's right. Quality merchandise. It's not trash. There's no need to throw it away. <laughs> then how much you want for it? Huh? Uh -huh. What? If I buy it, it's all mine. I can do whatever I want with it. So how much you want? Uh, 10 million, and not a yen less. Eh? Huh? 10 million? How do you figure all this trash is worth 10 million? What are you gonna do? You're really gonna buy it, Kaskasan? <laughs> I don't no. have that kind of money. All right, you win. Figures as much. He has no intent on selling anyway. We're getting a snowman raid. Hello, snowman. How are you doing? Huh. Say what you want. Snowman oh, has raided we're this done with talking here. Years. I can't say I didn't see this coming. This is usually the part where I get chased off. No. Nah, I don't think he's looking to chase us. Hmm? Huh? You just couldn't leave me alone, no matter how much I asked. You've pushed me to the edge. I'm going to protect this shot. It's mine, and you can't take it away from me. Um, ah! I'll make sure you never bother me again. <laughs> hey, snowman, what were you playing, sir? Goat Simulator 3. Yikes, this is definitely a first. Damn, no way out of this one. How was Goat Simulator, man? Did you, uh, eat some grass or, uh, okay. whatever? <laughs> Played as Yoshi. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Hey. Never thought about getting rid of all this trash. But it's not just trash. It's memories of my wife. Memories? I used to run this place with my wife. We didn't make much, but life was good. Right. I heard this place used to be legit. Then one day, my wife collapsed while tending the store. By the time they found her, it was too late, and she passed on. Ah, despite her health, she worried about the shop. Snowman, did you get permission for that? Very end. <laughs> And the worst part Did you get is consent, that I sir? Was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi san. I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How much she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise. <laughs> I never bring myself to <laughs> I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her! <laughs> yeah, I get how you feel. And I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? Uh, uh. I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. It, it's the trash. The place she worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Yeah. Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually bought all this garbage if you had 10 million yen in your pocket. I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Flame amulet. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm going to take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. One man's trash. I mean, is it open now? It is open now. Uh, uh anything interesting? Fi Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> 
They're so expensive. God dang it. I, I, I. No idea. I have one helmet, which is the straw hat. Wait, is that better than what? Slightly better. Relatively thick material. What is it? What does de dexterity even do? Now, who's got? Who's got the better? Okay, one thirty-six, forty-one. All right, he's technically got the best dexterity. Uh, charm infused with prayers to protect the bearer from burns. Okay. So itchy. All right then. Let me save. And this is where we are going to call the YouTube video today. Uh, we are not ending the street. We're just ending the YouTube video. So for those on YouTube watching this in the future, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, click the thumbs up button. Click the subscribe button. That lets both YouTube and I know that you're enjoying the videos that I make and want to see more. And of course, want to come and hang out with us freaking... <laughs> the link for the stream is down in the description below. Click on that link. Come and hang out. We love getting new peeps in the chat. But for now, thanks for watching. And later, YouTube. Bye. Peace.